Hi guys, I'm back at it again on my crappy rinky dink phone. <laughs> my apologies, but I did get a new camera and a ring light. Um, but I'm still learning how to use it. And I'm honestly waiting for a bigger SD card because currently all I have to put in my camera is a four megabyte SD card and that's pretty much useless. So, bear with me while I learn. I have to make a new intro for my channel. Uh, I have to also figure out some kind of editing program. So, if anyone out there could help me with those things, like maybe suggest a good editing program. Easy is the keyword because, like, I'm a noob. Anyways. Um, so that would be really, really helpful, guys. Um, if anyone's interested, I'll just kind of, like, give you guys a little brief lowdown. Um, my name is Ashley. I live in Northern Ontario, Canada. I'm a mom of two kids. I'm a wife. I'm a fur mommy, so I have three cats. Um, my channel basically is a mishmash of cooking, day in the life, um, grocery hauls, Mainly things that I personally, as selfish as it sounds, I'm interested in and the things I watch. So that's mainly what you're going to see. Sometimes you'll see the odd little gaming video as I do allow my daughter to post from time to time on this channel. So um, bear with me. Come along with me, guys. And if you've already subscribed and you've been watching, hey, guys. We're almost through a whole year and we're on day two if you're in Ontario of lockdown. So currently um, we're in a province wide lockdown. So any videos that I post in the next little bit are going to be pretty boring. I would say mainly I might do some clips of what we're having for dinner and things like that, but like nothing too exciting. Definitely not no outings because uh, we're locked down. I can't go anywhere. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys had a really good Christmas and uh, are looking forward to the new year and in good health. So the main purpose of my video today, um, guys, is basically wanted to get on here, say hello, and let you know that I haven't disappeared. Um, the plan for today is just to show you guys a couple little things that I've done around the house, just a couple little minor, sorry, the light's like right there. The door is right there. Um, a couple little changes that I've made around the house. Nothing major. And I was going to um, bring you along while I make a cheeseburger pizza tonight. So that should be good. But yeah. Without further ado, I'm going to turn you guys around. And like I said, show you guys the little changes that I've made. And then I'll take you along and show you what we're having for dinner tonight. All right, so obviously we're in our kitchen and I'm gonna start here, show you guys my cupboards. It's really cluttered because we don't have a lot of space. Um, yeah, don't mind the boxes shoved between the stove and the wall. Uh, we haven't taken the recycling out. Outside it's been really cold and we've been dumped on with snow. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> my real life mess right there, dishes. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. turning around okay so this is my entryway a new addition is I've gotten some new rugs um, a good friend of mine just moved so she gave me hers um, which is helpful because I'm tired of mopping this area constantly mopping it so shoe rack with our helmets on it and shoes and batteries and chargers anyways so there's that, and then it extends, don't mind the garbage rack, out until in front of the fridge because Rob usually has his cigarettes here on the counter and quite often forgets his lighter or cigarettes or things inside. Anyway, so moving on. Our pantry, you guys have seen that. Yes, I have a computer in my kitchen, which is really lame, but there was nowhere else to put it and we're limited on space for plugs. So this is where she sits. Um, one of the changes I've made in the last couple of days is did a little swap -a Um, this used to house our board games and stuff like that. 
but I switched it around because I thought it would make more sense next to the pantry, and it houses like our medical stuff and hygiene products, a little bit of food like um, onions and potatoes and our cleaning products, and then going into our living room, basically it's just mop bucket cleaning products here, and then litter and water, freezer, we have a, another front door, but we really never use it. Coat area, shoe area, another rug, bookshelf. And then turning around along this wall here is an antique rocking chair that belonged to my brother. The TV, gaming stuff, uh, another bookshelf. Then here is the other switch that I've made. This now houses our board games, um, and our printer. This used to have our tree on it, but currently it's holding extra throw blankets and a pillow. And then moving over here is just side table. And my kitties, this little fluff ball of flub is Ginger. She is our youngest cat. She doesn't like children or anybody else. She mainly likes Rob. She sometimes likes me. That is Princess. She literally likes everybody. And we have one more cat, and he's upstairs napping with Rob. His name is Opie. So I just wanted to show you guys that we no longer have our tree up, and we've de-Christmased. So there's a plus. I'm just going to hop right in here and say this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Cheeseburger pizza. And this is what sold me on it. Honestly, the pickles sold me. I don't know, we were talking about what to have for dinner last night, and Rob mentioned he really wanted homemade pizza, but he didn't want the normal, and he suggested cheeseburger pizza, and I literally have everything here for it, so why not, right? So this is what we'll be having. I feel that I'm going to gain like an extra 10 pounds. Even just looking at this is packing on the pounds, but anyways, come along with me while I make that. And bear with me while I figure out my new camera and a new intro for my channel. Okay, so it's not exactly perfectly shaped pizza, but this is our pizza dough all stretched out. Instead of a plain tomato sauce, this is what it calls for. So in here I have about a quarter cup of mayo and about five or six or tablespoons or whatever of ketchup. I just eyeballed it and a little bit of hot sauce and mixed together. In my pan I've just got some ground beef and some thinly sliced onion. And I'm just browning that up in my new The Rock pans. Yes, I got new pans for Christmas. so. Pretty excited about that. I'm a little bit nervous even cooking in these because I know they're pricey for this set. So I'm a little bit nervous even using my meat chopper, but I'm being super duper gentle. Probably a lot gentler than I need to be, but because it's not metal, it shouldn't scratch anything, but I'm still worried. So we're just browning this up and then I'm going to drain it and put it on the pizza. Okay, so I've topped my crust, or dough I'll say, with the sauce, the hamburger that is now browned, some diced onions and cheese, just waiting on pickles, and then I'm going to do a mustard and ketchup swirl, and top with um, some sesame seeds around the bun, and I'll bake it, or bun, <laughs> it's supposed to seem like a bun, but the crust, and then... I'll bake, and when it's finished, I will show you what it looks like. Okay, don't mind the noise in the background. Everybody's watching stuff. But this is the finished product. Along the one edge, it's a little darker, but it looks pretty delicious to me. So, dinner was a hit. Um... I failed to mention that I baked that pizza at um, 425 for about 20 minutes and it turned out delicious. Like Rob was doubtful because like I drizzled mustard and ketchup over the top of everything and he was really freaked out by it but it turned out so good. 
I'm gonna cut this off here, guys, and say goodnight. I'll be back another day. Bye.